Hey, permanent makeup artists. Have you ever wondered how far out your needle should hang when you're doing machine work? I'm here to answer that question for you today, so stick around. Welcome back everyone, I'm Terry Lively. Today I'm going to share with you some information on needle hang. I also want you to stick around to the end because I have some bonus information on needle cartridges that I want to share with you. So let's answer that question. First of all, I want to talk about a couple of terms you're going to hear in the industry. The term needle hang or the throw of a machine actually means the same thing. And what that refers to is how far that needle is extended from the tip as you're working. And the question we get all the time from newbies and even from some veteran artists is, how far out should I have my needle? There's not an easy answer because you know what? It actually depends on the procedure that you're doing. So let me give you a few examples. Um, let's say I'm doing an eyebrow and I'm doing hair strokes with a single needle. In that situation, I want my needle hanging out pretty far because I wanna be able to see the very tip of that needle. That's also referred to in the tattoo industry as working off the tip. So you want to be able to see that needle clearly so that you can get a nice, even stroke and have a good result when it heals. Now, let me give you a caveat there. If you have it hanging out too far, then guess what? The pigment is going to have a hard time traveling down from the inside of the cartridge all the way to the skin. So have it out far enough where you can see it, but not too far to impede pigment flow. Another situation where I would have it extended a little bit so that I could see the tip would be a lip lining procedure. If I'm doing an outline on a lip, even an eyeliner procedure where I want to maybe taper in inside here in the corner and I want to be able to see the tip of that needle so I have a nice clean result. So that those are the situations where I like a little bit more needle hang. The situation where I want to work with a little bit shallower needle is in this scenario. Let's say I'm using a magnum needle and if you don't know what a magnum needle is you really should find out because they're amazing. A magnum needle is a grouping that looks kind of like this. And it's two stacks of needles together and they're weaved. So we use magnums, I use magnums when I'm doing lip fills or sometimes I'll use them when I'm doing a nice powder brow. Magnums are going to implant color really quickly in a lip. And the key to using a magnum is having shallow needle depth. You don't want the magnum hanging out too far from the tip. That way you have very, very good pigment flow and you get rapid saturation of color in the skin. Another reason I may want to use a magnum and have my needles very shallow is in the situation where I'm doing soft brushing of color into an eyebrow. You're using it like a little brush on the skin and you can get a nice powdery soft look. And again, you want those needles hanging out barely so that that pigment flows out and you have good saturation and better control. So magnums, more shallow, single needles hanging out a little bit further when you're doing lining work like hair strokes. Now, I may use a single needle on an eyebrow doing whip shading, working very, very fast. And in that situation, I also want that needle shallow. I don't have to see the tip of it clearly, like when I'm doing a hair stroke on the brow. I'm doing fast whip shading, my hands moving fast, and I want very, very good pigment flow so that I get nice, even saturation on the eyebrow. So that's a situation where you could use a single needle with very shallow throw. I promised you some bonus information at the end of this video. I wanted to share with you a new product that we'll be carrying. Now I've been carrying Envy Gen 2 needles for a long time. Let me show you first of all why I love them. See this grip? This is a rubber grip on the tip of the needle. And it gives you really great control of that needle as you're working. 
I just absolutely love them. The needles are amazing. They're very comfortable to work with, and I really like them. So Envy has come out with new needles for the permanent makeup industry. Starting this week, we'll be carrying the 0.18 diameter needles. Those are singles. And also, we'll be carrying the 0.23 diameter Envy needles made especially for the permanent makeup industry. I also have another little bit of bonus information. If you look on this box, you're going to see something that says down here, bug pins. Have you ever heard that term, bug pins? I remember going to a conference years ago and I was giving a lecture and I was talking to people in the audience and I mentioned the term bug pins. And it was like, as we say down here in Texas, the deer was caught in the headlights. Everybody had this blank look on their face. They didn't know what that term bug pin referred to. So a bug pin is a needle grouping with, made up of smaller diameter needles. For instance, a 0.25 or a 0.30, those are needle diameters referred to in the tattoo industry as bug pins. This comes from the, in, from the entomology scientific area. They're entomology needles. They're very, very thin and fine and very sharp. So now you've learned what a bug pin needle is. Anyway, I wanted to introduce you to Envy Needles and let you know that we're having a special on them right now. You do have to enter a code when you check out. And the code to enter is PRICK10. That's P-R-I-C-K-10. And you'll receive 10% off on your MV needle order. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you've learned something. I enjoy sharing these little tips and tricks with you each week. And I hope to see you soon.